Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. It's not going to resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Aquarius placement you resonate with. The message, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will all be linked and listed. At the end, I will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. And I do only take jumpers. So patience is very much appreciated. Aquarius, your first card out this week is Major Arcana, the Death card. Scorpio energy could be important to you. Followed by the Four of Swords, followed by the Page of Pentacles. Earth sign energy could also be important. Ca uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We have here the Two of Pentacles. Two more cards for Aquarius, please. The Six of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Water sign energy. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces could also be important. This one wanted to fall out. Pisces energy, Major Arcana, the Moon card. Bottom of the deck, more Scorpio energy tower. Something is definitely um, either coming to an end, falling apart, being realized. You have three Major Arcana here. So this is big and it's not. The Death card and the Two of Pentacles in your past position. Some sort of transformation here that someone was trying to either avoid or deliberating, deliberating and ending even. Scorpio season could also be an important time period. But it seems like someone was deliberating an, an ending. Should I, should I, should I, or should I not end something? And in the deliberation, it seems to have been creating some sort of um, emotional imbalance. It's like not making the decision to end something. When you know you probably need to end something. This could be your energy. This could be someone you're dealing with. There's also very a lot of masculine energy here. Male or female, it does not matter. Could be someone that you're dealing with. Four of Swords and the Six of Pentacles in your present position. Yeah, there's this like... <sighs> lots of thinking, lots of wondering, lots of like negotiating in, in, your, in the brain. Someone's got a lot going on because we have the Two of Pentacles here and the Six of Pentacles, which speaks to someone that's got a lot going on. They're juggling way too much. They got to get rid of some things. And it's like there's a deliberation as to either what to get rid of or how to go about getting rid of something. This could be someone that you're maybe not speaking to currently or someone that's been a bit quiet with the Four of Swords. Four of Swords can also be a sense of um, recovery, but it's also a sense of I'm getting it more so a sense of uh, meditation, praying. You know, really deeply thinking as to how to go about doing something. And I think the something is getting rid of something. Lots of somethings, right? With the moon card here, some sort of fear. That could also be why someone is not making a decision. There is fear around making the decision. Someone could also be not showing you um, what's really going on beneath the surface. Their feelings, some sort of hidden feelings. I do get there's a decision that someone is ref like uh, they're trying to they're trying to procrastinate making here and they know what they need to do. I think they already know what they need to do because with the page of Pentacles here and the King of Cups, this tells me there's something new that this person wants to go towards. They want there's some there's something new that this person wants to create a future with. Hear the rain. King of Cups, someone with a lot of emotion. Doesn't usually speak on it too much, but someone with very deep emotion. Someone has new emotion, has emotions for something new. There's a new direction this person wants to go in. And most likely, whatever sort of was existing before, that's what needs to be let go of. But there's a prolonging. There's a procrastinating and letting it go. Two cards of an ending here. Tower and the death card. So this is saying, if you don't do it, the divine is going to do it for you. Or if this is someone you're connected to, if they don't make the decision, the divine's going to end it for them. But the thing with that is it might not be the one that they want to end. You know? They might end up losing the thing that they actually wanted. Just because they didn't want to let go of the thing that, they, that was already there. Too much thinking, too much procrastination. When it's so very clear, you know exactly which direction you want to go in. But you're, cont you're still giving... To both the past and the new. Six, seven, eight, eight of pentacles. It's like you're still trying to make something else work when you know you don't you don't even want it to work. Or you're you you know the surface the surface will seem like you're trying to make it work, but deep down, no, you don't want to even, even be there. Because this moon card tells me 
there's something that's being hidden out of fear. Emotions are being hidden. Emotions for something new out of fear. It's like you really hate your job and you keep showing up, but you like you really want to be like you are. You already have an offer for a new job that you absolutely admire. You love it's something you've always wanted to do, but it's like you keep pretending to the old job. You keep showing up to the old job. So the divine might take away the opportunity for the new job because it does seem like there's something new here that needs to be moved towards that someone is avoiding or they're procrastinating on moving towards it. Wish fulfillment, idealism, judgment. Yeah, decision needs to be made pronto. Pronto. And if you don't make the decision, or if this person doesn't make the decision, then the opportunity, whatever opportunity that's being given to them now that they really do want and have always wished for, will be taken away. Will be taken away. Yeah. See, this person's stuck. They can't get out of their own way. You've gone from the four all the way to the eight. They're creating, creating, um, you know, stories that aren't true. They're creating scenarios that, that aren't even valid. Lots of fear here. To go towards the new okay let's get some um guidance for you aquarius this is a love situation what is the guidance for aquarius scorpio season heavy emphasis on scorpio season cancer pisces scorpio heavy emphasis on a, on a water sign someone with a lot of water in their chart but it does definitely have to do with someone's emotions definitely could be work too but it's like someone's avoiding making some sort of practical decision that has to do with their emotions and the way they feel. But this is saying if they don't make the decision quick, the divine will choose for you and they might end up losing the thing they actually want and be stuck with the old thing. Guidance for Aquarius, please. That fear, man, that fear has someone stifled. Very much has someone like, yeah, and it's their happiness. Whatever it is that they need to go towards and take action on, it's their happiness that they're stalling. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So this is like self-forgiveness. Right? Self-forgiveness. This is a if this is a relationship, leaving one relationship for the other, this is like guilt. Someone can't get past the guilt of leaving the old thing. But this is saying you need to forgive yourself or else you're always going to be in this situation. You're going to you're going to be stuck in one position. Or someone could be afraid that someone will not be able to forgive them once they make this decision. <sighs> Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Yeah. The new thing, you know, gives someone life. But it's the old thing that's kind of making them drag their feet. They're afraid of what someone's going to think of them. They're afraid that someone will not be able to forgive them or they won't be able to forgive themselves. Guidance for Aquarius, please. But it's like someone loves something new. There's a new love that someone is very much being tempted to go towards. A fiery climax approaches. Have faith in your dreams at the bottom of the deck. A fiery climax approaches. So it's saying it's only a matter of time. Either way you take it, this is going to explode. Especially with that tower energy. But at least right now, you still have control as to what end explodes or what end, what aspect comes to an end. Guidance for Aquarius, please. Yeah, time for a deep dive, Swan Spirit. Definitely something to do with a connection here. There's a deep connection that someone is feeling elsewhere. And they don't want to uh, tell whatever situation they're already in. They don't want to hurt that person. So they rather stay stuck. Guidance for Aquarius, please. Okay, we have here Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? This is about self-care. This is about taking care of oneself. You know? And what would your mom tell you to do? 
what would your mother say? She'd probably tell you, go towards what makes you happy. Do what lights your heart on fire. Do what brings the sun out of you. This joy, this playfulness, you know? But someone's having a very hard time doing that. Very, very, very hard time. They're afraid what somebody else may think or do. They don't want to be hated. But it's like, who cares? If someone hates you for setting them free. Then they rather you stay here and pretend? I don't think so. But to each their own. If you don't believe in yourself, how can you expect anyone else to? All right, Aquarius, that is your reading. Really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next week.